Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today, how hard is life getting for us? I'm going to be honest with you all because I like being transparent, okay? I worked with Queensland Police Service for 10 years and during that time, I got post-traumatic stress. Um, my, I was going to seek professional help, as I suggest to everybody, okay? And I was actually called and diagnosed with chronic post-traumatic stress from what my jobs within the police entailed, which I cannot disclose as I signed a confidentiality agreement. So I do have my days where I struggle significantly. I do sometimes take um, sedatives, okay, to put it nicely, um, but I try extremely hard not to concentrate on that person who I was. I try extremely hard not to allow myself when I get triggered because one of my big triggers is sirens. I freak out and I have massive anxiety attacks every time I hear a police ambulance or fire siren. How do you think I feel now when I'm hearing 30 sirens a day? Huh! Two years ago there were none in my local area. Some days now I'm hearing 30 of these vehicles whizzing by with their sirens blaring. So I go into all of these triggers which is part of my mental health. So now I hope that you can understand why I went out and learnt life coaching. That was the first thing I did. I went and did a life coaching diploma. That diploma was a six month course and it cost about $5,000 for me to do that. And it was actually through a place up in northern Queensland. It was about a two hour drive north of me. And they were extremely good. They actually don't do that diploma anymore. Now they only do um, psychology degrees. So that tells you that they do know what they're talking about. So I hope that I obtained really good insight through that knowledge of that training that I possessed that I obtained okay so back to <laughs> how are we getting through all this stuff that's going on could it possibly be that moon the other night the full moon um, where it was blood red eclipse we're also in mercury retrograde but how he is going because there's a lot of things right now going wrong within my world okay and I'm honest I'm transparent there's so many things that I don't even want to tell people about because a it's none of your business right two I don't like creating drama so I'm not a victim okay when I explain what I'm going through and three I try to always be optimistic look at the cup as being half full rather than half empty and I also look for the clinical critical thinking of how to get through these situations where I respond and I don't react to things going on in my life so what's just happened in the last few months for me a lot of you may not know this but my house got sold real estate here in Australia is now going phenomenal it is in free for all the house next to me now rents for 330 a week my house has now been put up to 400 a week and the house next to me which used to be owned by Roy if you've read my stories about Roy the ghost his house is now rented for 475 but wait there's more they've built a little granny flat on his land so this house now is 475 with no land and the granny flat alone is rented for $350 a week huh so you can see it is in free for all by the way which of those three houses is the best one it's the one next door for 330 a week it's got a huge beautiful block of land it's got a four car garage with lockable garage doors on it beautiful in the backyard manicured trees fruit trees all the pathways are beautifully paved and inside is immaculate because i used to go inside when terry and gordon used to live there um that's how um, they used to have Mary, my cat. They called her Boots <laughs> before I owned Mary. Well, what should I say before Mary owned me? So what's happened today? 
Over the past month, for those of you who don't know my story, I've now had approximately 20 handymen come in here just to do quotes on things wrong with this house. New owner bought and he obviously doesn't want to spend too much money because he just spent about $150,000 more than what this house was worth six months ago. Well, prices are just skyrocketing, but now they're all falling. So I think this guy's just realized what a mistake he made. Oops, I know he's made a mistake and that doesn't mean I'm a psychic. Okay, so let's look at it. Um, lights, door hand. Oh, my door handle. My doors didn't even close. So at least now they've put all new doors on. My front door, they've replaced the locks there. New cupboard hinges because cupboards were not closing. Um, shower. Oh, lots and lots of things going on in the bathroom where I've had a lot of people coming in and looking and saying, oh, yeah, this is major. Um, but then they do little minuscule jobs to fix it. Ha, ha, ha. Which hasn't worked. But now today drum roll please what's happened today my toilet and my laundry sink and my bathroom sink have all overflowed so let's get there how do we react to all this stuff going on when i've got now about two foot of water sitting only six feet away from me we do what we can we don't react guys we <laughs> We don't get our floaties out and have a little swim. Okay. <laughs> Come on. And I'm doing the best thing that we can do. Laugh at it. And you say to yourself, someone else out there has got far worse issues than me today. Right? Oh, someone else out there has got so much more worse things happening than me today because there's always someone out there going through worse than what we've got okay so whenever you sit there and you think my gosh how hard can my life get it's not like them saying oh yeah we're up for the we're up for the challenge we're going to throw you some more stuff to see if this is the worst you've ever been okay it doesn't work like that it's the fact that <laughs> we're getting tested every single day Every single moment within our existence is a test to see if we are improving the way that we want to, okay? If you guys saw me in 2012 when I left the police, you don't want to know who that woman was. And I openly say I had three addictions back then. Think about addictions and you'll probably be guessing right with most of it. I had three severe addictions that were taking over my life and I am so proud that I went through those experiences because now I'm trying to be a better person and now I'm trying my hardest to let other people going through the same sort of things how we can improve ourselves to be who I am trying to be today. Now, instead of crying, ringing all my friends this morning and saying, Oh my God, my water's overflowing. Oh, I don't know what to do. How many people out there would be doing that today? Because I take my own power back. I take my own authority. And I say to myself, do my friends really need to be drawn in? Ha ha ha, drawn in to my drama so my drama is now also on their shoulders where they are now stressing do i need to stress them out because of my stresses here in my house today is that fair because this is how we stop being a victim this is how we stop being that princess who thinks oh yes i'm just going to get onto my white i'm just going to ring that white knight who's going to charge in on his horseback, da -da 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 -da, you know, the old, <laughs> you know, the, the coconuts out of the Monty Python movies. Oh, I'm here to save the day. That's not going to happen. It only happens in rom-coms. You know, it only happens in movies. So look at your real life, guys. And when things go wrong, the first thing you say to you, is this the, is this the worst thing that's ever happened to anybody else? 
And the answer is always no. So take that belief system out of your head that this is all something that's going to really be the end all, end all of everything in your existence, okay? Next thing we say to ourselves is, how can I fix this? So where I don't rely on somebody else. Obviously today I've got to ring the real estate and let them know. So I've done that and I've left messages, but they can't get back to me yet. So I've let them know, okay? So I've dealt with it in a professional way with my real estate, okay? But then I say to myself, well, now what can I do? Do I just leave all that water sitting there playing like I'm a victim, drawing in all these other people so they give me the sympathy vote? I don't need the sympathy vote from anybody else, so I've already cleaned up the mess, okay? I've already cleaned it up. If you looked in my laundry in my bathroom right now, you wouldn't even know there was an issue, okay? I took photos, so I've got evidence. Huh? Because that's what I always do, right? But at the end of the day, I will not play victim and I'm going to stand in my own authority and say, right, what can I do? So I'll tell you what I did. I took my daughter up to school half an hour ago and the first thing I said to her was, let's go five minutes early so I can stop in at the shop and I'm going to buy some drain cleaner and see if that works first. Okay? So I went and bought the drain cleaner and I've already put it into all the drains and I'm seeing if that and I thought well what do I do to distract myself so I'm not going to get upset I'm not going to stress oh, I know I'm going to get on and do a video and let people know that when things happen in our own lives we don't have to scream poor we don't have to scream for attention we don't have to be a center of attention and saying oh my god all this is happening to me today don't worry about what's happening to you don't be that person, guys. I'm trying to make us all feel better within. Like I'm trying to be feeling better within. Because every day I struggle. I've already told you that. Every day for me is a struggle. But the more we try and the more we create it within our synaptic neuroplasticity of our brain cells, tick, 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 the more we create these habits where we are responsible, where we are accountable, and most of all, we rely on ourselves and not other people to do stuff for us, then we're no longer in those negative behaviours of being a victim, a princess, or most of all, being someone who can't even create their own self-worth or responsibility. Okay? So this is how we create self-worth. How proud am I of me right now that I'm not a crying, quivering wreck on the floor ringing everybody I know and saying, hey, can you come over and help me today? How proud am I today that I got out the bucket, I got out my, my mop and my towels and stuff and I've already cleaned up this mess? How proud am I that I didn't even um, go off at my daughter and, and all I said to her was, babe, I've got a mess to clean up, how about we get you to school so you don't have to worry about it? I didn't draw her into it, Okay. So it was all on me and how I respond. Now I've mentioned responding and reacting. Reacting is when we repeat the behavior back with the same emotion. So if you've got someone screaming at you, row, 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 respond reacting is when you use that same emotion and you scream back. Okay? That's reacting because we are reacting with their emotion. But when we respond, we're calculating, we're analyzing, we're critical thinking. The situation, they're barking at me. Do I have to repeat the behavior? No. So I'm going to be critical thinking, cognitive, and I'm also going to reply with something positive and productive so that's what I've done today okay so I'm really proud of myself I don't want your praise I don't want your oh my god Linda you're going so well with all your troubles that they've got going I don't expect any of that okay the reason why I'm telling you is today is so then you learn how to do this too 
Okay? Look at the world these days. It's going absolute crazy nuts. Tell me someone who's not stressing. Tell me someone who's not... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I feel like Cousin Ed. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay? Should I do it? Oh, tell you, I'll do it. I, I, I like doing Cousin Ed. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Cousin Ed. You know Cousin Ed. <laughs> Monsters or Adam's Family, whichever one he was on, okay? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> See, you laugh at it. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm laughing at what's happened. So anyway, I'm going to let go. I'm going to get off here. Try not to be a drama queen, guys. Try not to be that victim. Whenever you contact someone, you say, what's my purpose of, of talking to them today? And if that purpose is to tell them something that's going on in your life, perhaps sit there and say, do they really need to know that? Do I really want to inflict that stress onto them as well and you sit there and you think okay then I'm going to take this on my own shoulders I'm going to be accountable for what's going on and that is how we create positivity positively <laughs> stuttering positivity within our own lives and ultimately that's how we build our own self-worth our own self-respect and most of all it's how we create self-love. Hope you all have a good day, guys. I know I'm going to have a great day. I'm going to go and have some fun cleaning this up now because it will be fun. <laughs> and then I'm going to laugh about it all afternoon. Okay, talk soon. Bye.